Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Scavenge of the Win here, and I'm just gonna mute my audio real quick. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing a Ransom Raves episode. This is number one, and what I've done is I've got a Sky News app on running on my laptop, and I'm just gonna do a story that I found. And I was searching through the app because I don't watch the news, but I go through app news apps and everything. And I was going through them, and I found this um, new Malden. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Team found on fire in street dies. Um, and it does, and it says a woman believed to be 18 suffers burns all over her body and is pronounced dead in a street in southwest London. So this is. So in my experience, you know, fires like this are something that is, you know, you wouldn't expect to see in London and that. But I'm just gonna, you know, read what the story is. So um, I may put two game game plays, even three game game plays in this, or it might even be one. I'm not sure, but let's go and read it. An 18-year-old mother has died after she was found on fire in a street in southwest London. Emergency services were called at uh, 10 minute minutes past one. Uh, 10 minute minutes past one in in the morning on on Sunday morning to to reports of a burning woman on level crossing near Tesco. Near Tesco, really? Just really near Tesco. You're gonna put it near Tesco. Branch at West Barnes Lane in New Malden. Um, they managed to extinguish the fire, but the woman believed to be around 18, year, 18 years old and pronounced dead at the scene. The Met Police said her death what was being treated as une unexplained, but early indications suggest it was not suspicious. The cause of the fire and the circumstances of the death are being investigated by officers from the Homicide and Serious Crime Command and the London Fire Brigade. A police spokesman said officers have confirmed the teenager had a young son who was being looked after by relatives when she died and remains in their care. Um, Leila Hamid, 20, who was, who was house-sitting in a home uh, at Jake... I don't need to pronounce that. Adjacent, uh, adjacent to the scene, said she heard four screams, but it sounded more like a fox than a person in pain. She told Sky News about 1 a.m. I heard what sounded like a scream, but it was the strangest noise. I thought it must be an animal, but I now know someone was screaming. She was not screaming for help. It was not screaming continuously there were four screams in total one came from the house then progressed down the road so in my so for what i've just heard or read um she might have been set on fire at home got out was screaming in the streets for help and no one gave it to her so in my my experience about that that's pretty bad um um mm, yeah when i heard it was a girl on fire i was shocked Oh, I, I would be. I would have been ran out there and flipping out to, but no, no. This is what happens. Um, I thought something is not right there. If something had blown up in the house, I would have heard that. After an hour, I had the scream. The police were already at my door, and then I woke up. When I woke up, there was a white tent there. Uh, she said she did not know the occupant who lives at the house where the woman ran from but had not seen anyone come and go from it regularly so it probably means that someone's not been living in the house and she was just there and there was no one there to look after her nothing like that so that's you you, you have to be careful about these things um but let's carry on a spokesman from Lo from the london fire brigade said the woman had suffered burns on every part of her body Ooh. Uh, I wonder if there might be a link in the description to read this. Um, I wonder if I can get it open. Can I? No. If I can get get a link for this, guys, I will. I, pr I promise. I'll try and get a link for it um, so you guys can go ahead and read this. Because this is actually really serious. Um, Alright, we're on the last bit. Um, nearby Burlington Road and Navy Streets were sealed off. Officers believe they know the identity of the deceased and have informed next of kin. I don't know what kin is, but I'm guessing it's something police code-wise or something. Um, a post 
molten examination uh, will be arranged in due course and no format identification has taken place. Scotland Yard said it believed the fire started in a house in Link Way. I have no idea where that is, but I will try and search that up. Uh, police issued an appeal for witnesses saying in particular they need to speak of three members of the public who assisted in trying to save the woman's life by trying to extinguish the flames. Um, so, I believe this this story so far has actually proved really strange uh, I do not know anyone that has actually suffered from this but from what I know this is actually really weird um, you know that there are many weird things in life now I mean in different countries people do die from you know things like this but from what that story says it says some uh, either so someone was in the house or she'd done something wrong, you know, like smoking and that. She dropped a lighter and tried to put out a fire or something. I don't know, but... Or she might... I, d the, I don't know. She might have set herself on fire by accident or, or, or someone could have set her on fire. It's all, you know, just there. I'll try and get, get a link for you guys so you can read this. I'm not sure if I can get one, but... Um, If I can get a link for you guys, I promise you I will. Uh, because... Um... Where the hell... Alright, hold on. I think I've lost it. Um... There it is. Okay. So I'll try and get a link, link for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Sorry for wasting your time. And uh, hopefully you guys have a great day. Please stay safe. I don't want anyone being burned or anything like that. So please subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.